Hey guys, how's it going? Shinobi here, and in the background I got some random gameplay going on because this specific video I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different topics, and I'm going to be talking about the donators of the week, the top donator of the week. I'm also going to read some questions I got from Facebook and some comments that I've seen recently because I haven't done really a questions video in a while. And then there's also a mystery game that I'm thinking about adding to the channel, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in the video. But first, let's kick off the donators of the week. Before I actually go into the donators, you'll see them on the screen. I'm going to shout out each one of them and everything like that. But before I get into it, I want to make it very clear that I opened up this donation thing not because I was begging for donations. I am not begging for donations. Not only is it 100% optional, I don't mention it in every single video. I mention it once a week because I do this thing once a week where I show the donators of the week to show how much I really want to thank them for donating to the channel. Also, I only opened up the donation thing to begin with because I said I was moving to Canada and I was going to be helping taking care of my dad and get things, you know, kind of going and everything like that. And then people had messaged me like crazy asking if there was any way they could help out. And I didn't have any donation things set up and they kept saying, why don't you open, open up donations so that we can help you out? And I said, you know, maybe that's a good idea. So I tried it, and I've had some negative responses because people think that I'm begging, which I'm really not. Um, but I've also had a lot of good donations, a lot of good things going on, and a lot of people, you know, wishing me luck and everything like that because they want to see me keep making these YouTube videos, and that's what it's all about, just, you know, sticking with it and keep playing and keep making videos because I love to do that, and you guys love to as well because you're subscribed, right? So let's get into the donators. Last week we had Leonard P as the top donator of the week. He actually donated again this week. He's done that like three weeks in a row. He's really just an awesome guy. And he donated $15 this week, so I want to thank you so much for that. You've been awesome, man. Just literally nonstop, just keep donating. And I can't tell you, I mean, I really, when people donate to me, I really don't even know what to do. Like, I want to, I, I wish I could do more to thank you guys, but, you know, I put you in these videos, and I put the people as the top donators of the week, and if you have special requests, like this next guy does, uh, then I would like to do that for you. If you want to play with me, if you want to, you know, me to shout out your channel, uh, just anything. You want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation like I've had with some of these people, just giving them personalized tips, and giving them advice, and even in life, not even just video games. So, anything that I can do, I'm going to, because I do appreciate all these donations. The next person, like I said, is Gabe. He donated $20, which that just came out of nowhere. I was like, wow, $20, that's crazy. And he is from a YouTube channel called youtube.com slash stuttergames. And he was actually a really nice guy. I've added him to battle uh, my battle tag. And we actually been talking a bunch, and he plays mainly World of Warcraft, but he started up a channel, and he's trying to get it off the ground. And his videos actually look pretty interesting, so if you guys are interested, go take a look at his videos. Maybe I'll put a link, like an annotation on the screen, and a link in the description or something like that. But definitely a really awesome guy. Next one here, we have Corey N, and he, uh, I don't know where he's from, but... I didn't have to go look it up or anything like that. He didn't really leave a personalized message. Sometimes people just don't. They just donate just for the sake of it. But if you want to leave a personalized message, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, he donated $10, so thank you very much for that. Next one is Patrick L, and he donated $2, which is awesome. You know, even even $2 is amazing, you know. So I definitely do appreciate that. Um, next one is Sophist T, which donated fifteen dollars I love seeing those ten dollars or more like that's just like wow that's crazy I mean you just really think about how many subscribers that I have you know if everybody donated ten dollars not that I'm asking you to uh, it would just solve everything which is crazy and then the last one here is Lawrence I actually played with him today he's from Australia and he found like one of the best items in Diablo 3 it was a witching hour. I don't have a screenshot of it. It was like almost a perfect roll, worth like 500 million gold. It was crazy. It was such an awesome item. And uh, he, I actually looked it up for him and price checked it for him so he could put it on the auction house. And then we played together, and he's a really nice guy. He does a lot of charity work and stuff like that. So I want to shout out for him. Those are the donators of the week right there. Uh, so it's a tie between Gabe and Lawrence. You guys are tied for donate, the top donator of the week, and unfortunately, Leonard P., someone stole your title, 
Um, that's how it goes, though. You know, it's going to happen eventually. But want to thank you all for all the support and everything like that. And I will be putting the top donators of the, of the week in the description down below, as well as a link if you also want to donate. 100% optional, not begging. This was asked of me to open this up, so I did it because you guys asked me to. So let's move on to the next topic. Now the next topic is going to be the mystery game that I've been wanting to put on the channel. And I'm going to show you that mystery game right now. There it is on the screen. Yep, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I've been waiting for it to come out for so long. I actually, if you really paid attention and you looked on, the, on my channel layout, you would see a little, little part in my channel where it actually shows that you know that was going to be a secret that was going to be coming out so the game came out and I was going to go purchase it but I decided first that I would go look on this website I'll put a link down below this website is awesome if you never heard of it before it actually will tell you if your computer is good enough in every aspect to play this, these games on the lowest settings or the mid settings or high settings so you get a good idea so that way you don't buy a game and get frustrated and go oh my god oh, oh my god it doesn't work blah 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 so luckily I did this and I went ahead and ran this test before I bought Black Ops 2 and you can see that I don't even meet the minimum requirements uh, which really sucks you can see why though if you look down below my CPU is outdated it's about four or five years old uh, not very good at all my computer in general is not that great graphics card is subpar um, definitely good enough for this game though um, the RAM is you know just barely enough type thing that's something that in the future I would like to do I would like to upgrade my computer so I can implement more games to the channel. Um, probably, they have a lot of good deals going on around Christmas time. You can even build your own computer for like 500 bucks for like really good that can play Black Ops 2 for no problem. Um, so that's one thing that donations are going to be going towards is actually trying to get this computer going, which will be great. I also want to get a camera because I want to start doing some IRL videos as well because we, I am moving into the new apartment here in Canada on December 1st, so I would like to maybe kick it off with showing you guys a new apartment. What do you guys think about that idea? But depends how donations go and how money goes with me job searching around here and everything like that. So it really does depend on that stuff, but, um, you know, if if we get enough donations, great. If we don't, you know, that's just how it goes. But So you can see right here that... Obviously, I failed um, to actually run on the minimum settings for Black Ops. Then you also have to take into account if you also have a YouTube channel, if you're frapsing, it's going to be even worse. So if I'm lagging to begin with on Black Ops, then I'm fraps, it's going to be even worse. So really not going to be able to have really solid gameplay. And the reason I want to play Black Ops 2 is because back in the day, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know, I was actually really high ranked in some FPS games. We played on a... Um, website called GameBattles.com which is owned by MLG. You probably know who MLG is, the Major League Gaming uh, Association there. They pretty much the biggest gaming league in the world and we played on that website and we were the top ranked clan um, in the world and we won competitions like live competitions and online competitions and that's where I got the name Shinobi because the guild or clan they called it was called Liquid Zero and I was Liquid Shinobi. So, I like to get back into the FPS stuff. I have a lot of tips that helped me really get really good at the games that I played. And I can implement that stuff into Black Ops 2, make videos for you, and come up with some good entertaining videos as well as guides. So, that's something I really like to do. You can see if I go to the other games that I tested, because I do play World of Warcraft and Diablo 3 on the channel as well. You can see that in Diablo 3, I pass, just barely. And I don't really like that much, so maybe, you know, maybe this test kind of exaggerates a little bit because I feel like my computer does better than just you can see the amount that it's right there. But that's how it goes. And then finally, you have World of Warcraft on the very end there, and it's about the same requirements as Diablo 3. So um, I do pass slightly for those games, and that's why I can make videos on those games. But check out that website if you ever are curious to, you know, maybe buy a new game and you think your computer might not be good enough, and you can see which areas you need to upgrade.
And now let's get to the questions here to finish this off here. If you want to leave questions, I'm going to put my Facebook, my Twitter. You can even leave comments down below. I'm going to do a big questions video like in the future, two, three weeks from now, something like that. I'm not really sure exactly, but um, I want to collect a bunch of questions. You can leave them right down below in the comment section uh, or, like I said, Facebook and Twitter. And then I can actually look on there and answer that stuff for you because I haven't really done a video like that in quite some time. So I went to my Facebook. Facebook and I saw that I had like 20 something messages and I was like whoa like personalized messages straight straight to my uh, Facebook for my channel so I'm gonna go ahead and read through some of these here they'll be posted on the screen and everything like that I was gonna take screenshots of them and then post it on there but it's more work to do that I decided just to copy and paste so um, that's why you're seeing just the words on the screen so the first one comes from uh, Ivanant uh, Ariseth, and sorry if I don't pronounce these that great. I mean, a lot of these people are from all over the world, so, um, but anyways, I'm just gonna call you, uh, Ivy for, for this. Uh, do you play League of Legends? I don't. I've played it a little bit. I'm more of a Dota 2, old school Dota player, Heroes of New Earth, those type of games. Uh, I feel League of Legends, and I might get some hate for this, I feel League of Legends kind of caters to the newbier players a little bit. I mean, there are some really good League of Legends players out there, and you might be as well by listening to this video, but I think that if you play games like Dota 2 and Heroes of New Earth, they challenge you a little bit more than League of Legends does, and when I play a game, I like to be challenged. So, you know, maybe I'll implement some Dota 2 footage in the future. I actually have some Dota 2 keys as well. Uh, if you guys are interested in maybe getting those in a giveaway or something like that, if you want to try it, maybe you play League of Legends and you want to try Dota 2. So maybe I'll do that as well. You know, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give two of those away because I have two extra keys. Um, all you have to do is hit like, favorite, leave a comment down below, and uh, yeah, there you go. And you can win a key for a Dota 2. Next one comes from Craig um, Simden. Recently saw your video on YouTube about farming in Diablo 3 with your Demon Hunter in Whimsy Shire. This is an older uh, video here. I saw that you were at 100k DPS. I have a level 60 wizard with 1200 DPS weapon with about 1700 intellect total, but I only have 28k DPS. Can you give me any tips? Well, the thing is with a wizard, they're a little bit different than the other classes because they typically don't have as high of DPS as something like a, de a Demon Hunter does, but the best thing I can tell you is just really maximizing those uh, you know you're an intellect based class so your resistance is going to be better than something like a demon hunter so your survivability is going to be a little bit better because you have intellect um, for your class so what you should do is you should focus on trying to implement as much damage as you can obviously but in areas like your gloves your rings your amulets uh, and your weapon offhand stuff like that try and get as much damage stats as you can crit attack speed crit damage those are all very important if you can do that on those pieces then put your defensive stats in things like shoulders chest belt and pants and boots if you do that then that's great the more crit you're gonna have I know there's a lot of different builds for wizards right now and I'm actually thinking about leveling one up so maybe I'll make a video on that in the future but thanks for the question then we have Aaron Baron <laughs> That's an awesome name. Hey Luke, just posted on your wall about a possible run with you. I live in the U.S. and would really, really appreciate the help with the run. I have 218% magic find and I still do believe over 55k damage with that gear. Actually, that is something that I wanted to bring up in this video. I'm actually going to be making room on the friends list to invite people. You'll see my battle tag throughout this whole video on the screen. I'm making room for people to actually come and play with me anybody that donates automatically stays on the friends list forever if the only time I'd ever delete somebody off the friends list is when I'm making room and they haven't played for a long time but if you do donate you're on there forever uh, just because it's something extra you did something extra for me I feel like I should do something extra for you um, but yeah so that is that but that is opening up as well if you guys want to play with me I'm gonna be making some videos where I'm playing with the viewers so it's gonna be fun then we have Gordon Isaac, uh, hey name Gorson, sorry, I typed it literally the way that they typed it, so I'm not, you know, if they made a spelling error, um, you know, I'm not trying to make them look like an idiot or anything like that, but I just copied and pasted it. Uh, hey, my name is Gordon, I wanted to join you on WoW, but I'm, I'm not new to it, but I play with Friends House once in a blue, so hit me up 
Uh, let me know if you blah blah blah. I would like to join with a uh, Death Knight. Please help guide me if possible. Thanks. Obviously, from a different country, English is not that great. Um, so I'm not bashing on you or anything like that if I do read this. Um, however, like I said to the above comment, I am opening up the uh, battle tag thing so people can add me and we can play. So it'll be a lot of fun. Then we also have, I'm also thinking about leveling characters on European servers as well. If that's something you guys would really like. I need to know how many people are really interested in that. Next one's going to be Indy Van Malcott. Hey Shinobi, got a question. I'm a wower and I would like to ask what add-ons you used in your last video. This is a question that I get all the time. Like, so I, know, I realize that people are new to the channel sometimes and they don't know that I actually put out a UI video. So if you want to go see that video, I'll link an annotation on the screen so you can go take a look at it. It explains everything about my UI. It's actually like a 25 minute long video where I actually talk about how to set it up exactly the way that I have it and every little tip and trick in there. So check out that video. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we have Janet and she says hi saw your videos on YouTube nice job in Whimsy Shire I'm still kind of stuck in act 2 and mid 3 saw that you were equipping your all alternate hand ring by dragging and dropping not sure if you were aware that by default you could click alt right click and you can do that as well happy gaming this is another thing that I get all the time people saying this I've made a couple videos where I actually use my mouse to grab my ring from my offhand and just drop it in there I think they've changed it since then uh, you can actually uh, like double click it or click it once or something like that you can also do the alt right click thing and it will put it in the other slot I'm very aware about that I definitely um, know about that it just sometimes the way that I explained it before people don't really understand um, I'm kind of like particular on the gear that I have I spend tons of gold on the gear that I have and I delete items all the time uh, when I'm running through I cycle through so many items that sometimes when I have to switch out gear and I have to put a ring on I find it that if I click it and put it on there it takes half a second to do it and I guarantee that I didn't misclick or something like that I actually see it drop in there because if I hit alt and right click and then maybe I misclicked or didn't even click on it or didn't even hold alt like down all the way or something like that and then I run through and I just delete all my items really quickly I could have possibly deleted that ring so it's just a guaranteed 100% thing, and it takes like half a second to do it, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, video is getting kind of long here, but I do want to read the rest of these. Todd LeBlanc says, Hi, I saw how great your Diablo 3 guides help players. I was just wondering if there's any chance of you telling me how you acquired your magic flying gear on your regular gear for that matter. I'm also a demon hunter, so I'll be watching your guide to making one anyways. Um, it would be great if I could get in touch with you and ask some questions. Yeah, if you want to add me on Battle.net, uh, we can actually talk if you'd like to. You can leave a comment down below. You can send me a personal message. And I can also read comments from donators as well because they go straight through. And I read every single one of those as well. Um, however, with finding gear, I just I play the game a lot. And that's what you have to do. I mean, the more you play it, the better the items you're going to find. That's pretty much how it goes. Blizzard has designed the game that way on purpose. And, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of luck in there. But, you know, I've played the game a lot. And I just, I know which items sell for what and everything. I make a lot, I made a a lot of guides that actually explain um, what stats are particular for what items and everything like that and you can actually go back and look at my channel and look at all of that if you uh, you know didn't know what things are worth and how to price things and everything like that because you could have possibly in the past maybe found an item that was actually really good and didn't really think it was that great and just sold it to the vendor so just be very careful when you're going through your items um, and then here we are for the second to last one here. Hey, could you show your gear that you are using? I play a wizard tank. I have 3.5, uh, 37.5 crit chance, 97 crit damage, 45,000 damage with magic weapon, and 80, uh, 800 life on hit, 29,000 life all resist. I can play MP1 to 2 and 3 in Act 1. What do you think? Uh, I should do to get higher in MP. How is your life on hit versus life steal? Uh, more attack speed and maybe lower crit chance. Now I have. I think that you're doing everything pretty much correct. Um, 
did you say uh, with MP level do you think your barb could do infernal machine alone yes I actually my barb can do up to MP8 by himself and my demon hunter can do MP10 uh, life on hit has become a very popular thing because you need to heal yourself back up right and you need to be also not get one shot so having the resist is also pretty much everybody is doing the same kind of build nowadays I see as they're all trying to build as much damage as possible but also trying to maintain that that uh that re the survivability uh you said you have a 37.5% chance to crit that's actually pretty decent if you have at least 30% or higher then that's great i think you just need to farm more and find better gear and just up upgrade these things individually like i was saying in the comment above make sure that you're putting damage items on your gloves amulet rings and your weapon and then your survivability items should be your shoulders helmet chest belt pants and you could also have like you can add crit to like bracers and helmet and you know stuff like that so um, keep that in mind it's just all about gearing your character and putting the right stats in the right places and if you can do that you can pretty much make your character really good for a lot cheaper in the auction house then the last question here why are you using the bow companion can't remember its name it's not a sorcerer it's the scoundrel he's talking about a few videos back you said the sorcerer was better i did use the sorcerer for a while because they're really good for survivability they have a heal they can uh... sheep the guy they do the, the chicken morph thing whatever it is um... they're actually sorcerers are really good they can do good damage uh, you can find good weapons for a sorcerer, and they can actually do really good damage. As far as using the scoundrel, I use it on my barb because it gives 3% extra crit by getting that, which is really great. And then also with the uh, the blind effect that it does, you know, it helps out as well because you know it's some survivability in there as well. Just a personal preference. It really depends on how good of gear you have. If you find a lot of really good wizard gear, then use uh, use the uh, sorcerer. If you find a lot of really good, um, you know, scoundrel gear, then use the scoundrel. You know, if you need a little bit more crit and the survivability you're fine on, then go with a scoundrel. If you need, you know a little bit more survivability and you need you don't really you know need the crit then go with the uh, enchantress but i want to thank everybody for watching um, this video here you know i know it's a little bit longer of the video i had a lot of things i wanted to say a lot of questions i wanted to answer a lot of people i wanted to thank and uh... you know thank you guys once again for watching this video supporting the channel hitting the like button commenting sharing uh... all that kind of stuff and most importantly, um, you know, just being subscribed to the channel and even the donations, just pushing that, you know, subscribership a little bit farther. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.